I, I'm humbled by, by the support I got across the party to take on this role, but I'm under no illusion that it's an easy job to come into, but it's something I'm looking forward to and it's something I'm excited about. I think there's a lot the Ulster Unionist Party has to offer and will offer. Well, look, I, I've been a member of the party since the late 90s, so I, I've seen... I've seen and had a lot of experiences within this party and there's a lot that I can take from, from other leaders and a lot of things I can build on because I think that's one of the things we have as a party, a strong building blocks to work from and I'm glad to see that. Our AGM at Saturday was a fantastic turnout of our members as well which gives us a real firm foundation to work from. Well, well I would hope so. Look, I, I'm a born optimist. So I'm, I'm holding out that, that glimmer of hope that there still can be some agreement with Friday because I'm a firm devolutionist and, and I feel there's a real need for a devolved assembly in Northern Ireland. It's the only thing that can deliver for our own people. And I, do, I don't say that just as a soundbite. It's something I truly believe and we need a functioning assembly. So the front piece of the Belfast Telegraph today, that was the first uh, I was aware of any approach from the DUP. I thought it was a strange way to, to go about diplomatic relationships or approaches to a, a new leader of the Ulster Unionist Party. But I'd rather the focus was on the next five days. I was rather the, the focus was on trying to get the assembly up and running again and delivering, as I said earlier. To start focusing now on another election or, in a, or on PACs actually sends a signal out that they've disengaged from, from these talks, and I think that's where we need to be focused at this moment in time.